Hey everybody, welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. My name is Jake. Today I am joined by my good buddy Chris, who is futzing around over here. And we are going to be testing out his new Alaskan chainsaw mill for the first time here. Uh, what are you doing over here, Chris? The final adjustments? Yeah, final adjustments, setting the depth of the bar and uh, just to get that first scab off the top. And then uh, the, for the next slab after that, you know, it should be easy as cake. Okay. Right, right now, I'm setting it to five inches depth. That way, when we put it on top of our ladder system, we clear the dogs that I pounded into the logs. And, uh, you know, hopefully we don't screw up the chain the first cut. <laughs> So for those of you who aren't familiar with an Alaskan or a chainsaw style uh, mill, it basically just uses pretty much any type of chainsaw. Um, Chris has his Husky 576 XP with a, what is that, a 32 inch bar? 32 inch bar. 32 inch bar on that puppy. And for the first cut, that's the most important cut because that basically sets, uh, you know, the level playing field for the rest of the log. So the very first cut on this log, we're, we're gonna be using this ladder system here that Chris has pounded into the log itself. And that provides us a nice flat level plane to make that first cut. And then from there on out, the chainsaw mill itself will just rest on the log uh, on that first flat cut. So neither Chris nor I are all that experience doing this but um we're going to give this a shot here and you know share our experiences and we'll all learn together along the way we are fighting what is it about 19 20 degrees out yeah, just about. um the the batteries on the cameras none of them are cooperating we got a little fire going over here in the burn barrel hopefully keep things a little bit warmer keep our hands warm at least and uh we're gonna give this a shot Guys, we got the first cut done here. Um, Chris is about to remove the ladder and we'll pull off this top scab. But uh, unfortunately we did throw the chain, but here we go. There we go. First cut into a nice red oak log. What do you think? Not as impressive as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all right. The next one should be much more so. You can, we tried to take off as little as possible from the top, um, just so that we maximize what's coming out of the log. Yeah, the usable log. Yeah. So the next cut, you're gonna see more of this red and the, the thick grain, cause we're gonna be getting into more of the heartwood than the sapwood. And uh, so the next cut should be much more pleasant. To look now, at. now, what's your plan for this one? There, there's many different ways to use these chainsaw mills. We can, you know, square up the log if you want to make dimensional lumber. Are you trying to do like live edge stuff and just slab it up since this is our first time? I think it being the first time, we'll just slab it out and make live edge slabs. Cool. Uh, later on, we can take those live edge slabs and just rip them down with a, a regular circular saw yep. um, to whatever dimensions we need. 
or you know just leave them live edge and we can leave them live edge do. let them dry and you know use them for whatever yeah um yeah that's the nice thing about this chainsaw mill you can basically do whatever you want obviously it's not as productive or as fast as a conventional you know standalone bandsaw mill or circular sawmill but um it is extremely portable and extremely cost effective so um we're gonna keep going here We just finished the second cut. Chris is brushing it off here. That was the initial cut that we made, that top face. And now we got our first slab. Look at that. It's Much a nice dandy. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. How does this one look down on here, the rest of the log? Set that down in our very high-tech drying rack over here. It's got some knots in it. Give it a little bit of uh, character here. Not too shabby. No, looks beautiful. Pretty cool. What do you think? Really cool. You can see the big difference between the heartwood and the sapwood absolutely this was really where we took that first cut from you know now we're getting into the nice big beautiful color of this tree yeah and you can tell that this tree was dead and uh, we actually took this one down at work and you can just see here like Chris was mentioning the heartwood versus the sapwood um, you know just a big difference in the color and you know this tree was clearly on its way out because the living part portion of the tree is directly underneath the bark in what we call a cambium layer and uh, the heartwood is all the old layers and just access support but that is that's pretty neat I think some people are gonna be uh, pretty excited to see this want to do another one yeah let's do it still got plenty of daylight oh yeah cut again this is not the clearest of wood but it just has some awesome character to it with the the black and the yellows and the reds really beautiful stuff and this is the bottom side of the slab we just took off again really pretty stuff not your conventional you know, regular, they just got a nice shot of your butt there. Oh, yeah. That's not what you want to see, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Clickbait. Uh, the, the black in it is just really cool. It's got a nice knot there. Um, so we'll have to do something with this to commemorate the first log we uh, oh, yeah. we milled out here at the Dude Ranch, huh? Might turn it into a bar in the uh, man cave. We could definitely turn it into a bar or at least a bench or something for out here. Yeah. These are pretty sweet. <laughs> Well, this last one that Chris just did looks just as good as all the others. We got some more character and some, you know, streaking in there way towards the center. Um, but this is, this is looking pretty good. 
while he was making that last cut, I brought over a pallet. We're gonna have to clean up this pallet a little bit, but uh, we'll stack up the slabs here for now. Um, probably gonna need to make some stickers, huh? Yeah, I, I got some at home. I probably should have brought them with me, but. No. Yeah, it's no big deal. Um, so the stickers we'll use to put in between all the, the slabs to keep airspace and to keep uh, you know the moisture from building up and from fungus and stuff from building up. Um, but this is, we're, we're getting off to a good start here. The sun has gone down, so I think we're gonna have to call probably the, the video, yeah. but we'll, we'll definitely be back to do maybe a part two or another video finishing up this log and uh, definitely doing more in the future. All right, guys, I think that's gonna about wrap up this here video. I think that was a pretty successful trial run, except for the chain coming off. Yeah, the, <laughs> uh, the chain coming off definitely was a bump in the road, but you know, it's bound to happen when you're working with a chainsaw. Especially our first time oh, doing yeah. this. But uh, yeah, you did great. I can't wait to uh, try my hand at running the saw down the log a couple times. Hopefully next time, but we got these uh, the, the three slabs that we cut piled up on the pallet. Chris will be bringing over some stickers probably in the next day or two. It's supposed to drop down to like what a high of like 16 degrees tomorrow. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I don't know how much will be. Oh, Louie and Sarah coming down the hill, so we'll have to check in with them. But um, yeah, we'll be getting back to this log and we got plenty more uh, logs to, to do in the future. Um, I think this is pretty cool. Let me know in the comments section below if you guys enjoy this stuff. I know I mentioned this. Chris mentioned it a couple videos back. Yeah. And a, a bunch of you uh, expressed interest that you would you'd like to see the milling and stuff. So uh, again, we're new to this. So if there's anything you would suggest or uh, you know any feedback you could give us, we'd gladly take it because we are newbies to this. But uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this one. So as always, if you like the video, give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button down below. Help us get to 4,000 subscribers. Um, questions, comments, feedback, put it in the comments section. Here's Sarah and Louie showing up for the fire. Um, I'm Jake. And I'm Chris. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time. Wow, this looks beautiful. Pretty cool, huh? Wait, this, was it easy to do? It wasn't too hard. What do you think? There's three slabs there, sir. Wow. Yeah, not awesome. too shabby, now huh? What do you do? Now we're gonna let it dry a little bit. Usually it takes about a year per inch, I believe I've heard. Yeah, year and year, per, year inch per inch of thickness. Inch? Per yeah. thick. This is gonna take like years. Like well, we only cut them to two inches thick, so. So that's only two years. You know, two years. <laughs> but. What? If you become impatient with it, you know, the worst that's going to happen is it's going to crack and it's going to warp. But if you like the little bit of added character, who really cares? Yeah, you could yeah, always do a epoxy it resin like fill. It now. Like, would it really crack? I'm, I'm not sure. I never really dealt with uh, wet wood like this. We should get some anchor seal if we're going to be doing this in the future, yeah. I think. So, all right, that's it, guys. See you later.